The iceberg is in such a remote area that there aren't yet any pictures of it. But this is where it came from, a giant tongue of ice from the Mertz Glacier. It was hit by another huge drifting iceberg, the B9B, and because the glacier was already cracked from a similar collision two decades ago, a massive chunk broke away in a once-in-a-lifetime event. The significance about this one here is it's at least 50 years and somewhere between 50 and 100 years since one has carved off the Mertz Glacier. So this is probably about 80% of the floating tongue that extended out from the, the continent, from the coastline. And it's a once in 50 to 100 years event. It has a surface area of 2,500 square kilometres. That's 50% bigger than Greater London. It's 400 metres thick, weighs 1 billion tonnes, and contains enough water to quench the thirst of the entire population of the planet for a year. Something that size drifting around has big consequences. It could disrupt the creation of dense, super-cold, salty water that drives ocean circulation. That process shifts heat around the globe, affecting weather patterns. It could mean the North Atlantic suffers colder winters. The glacier was fitted with GPS, so it could provide insights into these patterns, and in case it drifts north towards shipping lanes. The immediate uh, term is of major interest for us because we want to know how long it'll take for the icebergs to clear the area, and then we'll look at where they go. Just like other icebergs which have broken away from Antarctica, it could be around for many years, gradually getting smaller and eventually breaking into tinier pieces. But scientists say this incident has nothing to do with climate change. They compare it to a loose tooth, which eventually fell out. In Woods, Sky News, Sydney.